Listen, we're about to find out if these underwater tanks, yes, I done seen them on, uh, you know what I'm saying, near death comps, are hippos OP. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chill in Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, holla squad? We are <laughs> the Litter Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, we are back with another Tear Zoo video. Last time we watched uh, the bird tear. Listen, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but I done a couple people done told me do our hippos OP, and uh, we're here to do our hippos OP because I already know they are. I see. I look. I'm gonna let my man describe it because he gonna go more in depth than what I seen in the the little compilation I watched. But uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Let's get it. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Dashlane. Africa, the game's hardcore server. On top of the potentially lethal heat and disease debuffs, many of the most powerful builds in the game are playable only on the Africa server. Facts. Everyone knows the big names. Elephants are the biggest, cheetahs are the fastest, cobras are the most venomous, etc. However, one of the builds that frequently gets overlooked is the hippopotamus. Even though none of their stats are the best in a single category, there are things that they do better than anything else. So today I'm going to give an overview of the Hippopotamus' no way, stats and no abilities, <laughs> talk about its good and bad matchups, and where I'd rate it in the overall tier list. I've already done one video that sort of touches on all these things, but since it was one of the first videos I ever made, it's pretty lacking in quality. So hopefully this guy will do a better job doing the topic justice. Let's get it, let's get Anyways, it. without further ado, let's get into it. Hippos are the premier tank build of the African aquatic meta. Their success comes from a combination of phenomenal stats and from specking into abilities that allow for some pretty ingenious exploitation of the game's water physics, which I'll get into in a bit. But first, their stats. So you probably notice that the hippo stats are, in a word, hippo. phenomenal. They have one of the highest Bro. HP levels of any land build, second only to the elephant. Alright, look, we done done a lot of tier stats. I ain't never oh. seen no animal with, it, with, with no stats this high, bruh. Not one time, slick, with the song. Prime, let's get it! Thank you, my brother. Normally, builds with one unusually high base stat tend to have major shortcomings in other areas. Facts. But the Himbo simply doesn't. While its intelligence is only average, all the rest of their stats far outclass most other African builds. They have great damage, high defense, and even have great stealth for a build in such a high weight class. But perhaps the most surprising is their mobility level, which relates to how their abilities let them engage in physics engine exploits like I mentioned earlier. So, in addition to having relative I ain't never seen the hippo run. This gotta be sped up. Please let them no engage way. in physics engine exploits like I mentioned earlier. So in addition to having relatively high run speed on land, hippos are also unbelievably mobile in the water. Now, normally when designing your character to be fast in the water, you spec into traits like, you know, water mobility. Things like a streamlined body, fins, flukes, webbed feet, all these things strictly buff water speed and usually are the go-to for players trying to take their character to new depths in the aquatic meta. The Hippo player base decided to do exactly none of that, instead dumping most of their evolution points into pure bulk and muscle. As a result, Hippos are so dense that, unlike most animals, they do not float. This lets them be one of the only builds that can actually use the run movement option underwater with any success. This man can run underwater, bruh. Ain't no way. Hippos are taking over the world, bruh. They're taking over the world. So yeah, hippos, despite not That's actually crazy. being able to swim, have one of the best aquatic movement options in the game, and they didn't even have to spend any evolution points on a- They just go down to the bottom of the river and run a- run through- Ain't no way, bro. You can't be fast on land and in water. It's a cheat code. Aquatic mobility to do so. So, hippos have four signature abilities, the first being their water dash ability that I just explained. Their second ability is their two-inch thick skin. This ability is the reason behind their high defense level and it grants them some of the best resistances in the game, particularly to the common threats in the African server. It grants them near total immunity to slash and bite type damage, since claws and teeth simply are too short to pierce their skin. This lets them shrug off the vast majority of standard attacks in the African meta, and is also crucial for letting them survive attacks even from groups of enemies, That's which is crazy. normally the answer to defeating a high HP target. Bro, they better, they better try to bite its uh, Achilles or something, boy. You ain't gonna have no, no success trying to bite the hippo up there, bro. 
Defending from physical attacks is important, but it's just as critical to make sure your elemental resistances are adequate too. Because hippos have specced into the hairless trait in order to minimize mobility debuffs in the water, they're highly vulnerable mm -hmm. to solar damage. In order to mitigate this issue, hippos have specced into sweat that grants them UV resistance and, as an added bonus, grants them resistance to infection, another hugely beneficial trait to have when you spend most of your time in unclean water, potentially with open wounds. The only downside is that, while active, it gives the hippo players a reddish tint, temporarily lowering their stealth level. Their last this special is trait is their tusks. Hippos haven't specced into carnivory or even omnivory. They're strictly herbivorous and can't gain any XP from meat. So these people just be killing other players in the server for fun. You're not even eating them. You're just killing them, bruh. However, regardless of this fact, they have one of the most damaging bites in the game. On top of the sheer force of the bite itself, which is around a ton, by the way, their tusks deal massive damage to anything they puncture. But on top of the hippo's damage potential, their tusks offer another important benefit, intimidation. So the most effective intimidation techniques are the ones that can be quickly switched on and off. Yo, this, this is ugly. Ugly, boy. All gums, terrible. <laughs> a coral snake's colors are always bright, and a spider is always creepy, but hippos aren't always terrifying. In fact, most of the time they appear non-threatening, yet in an instant they can crank up the intimidation to 100 just by opening their mouths. A hippo player with intimidation active is one of the most intimidating things in the entire game easily being able to scare off even some of the bulkiest builds like rhinos. That rhino got about it okay, here though. Okay, so for matchups, hippos sport one of the most comfortable matchup spreads possible. Because they're highly resistant to bite and slash attacks, mm -hmm. most of the relevant predator matchups, such as crocodiles, lions, hyenas, and painted dogs are highly favorable for the hippo. On top of this, the hippo's own attacks can one-shot any of those predators. As for bad matchups, any builds that focus on stab-type weaponry can definitely give a hippo a hard time. In particular, elephants and rhinos both have long enough horns or tusks to pierce the hippo's thick skin and deal critical damage to a hippo foolish enough to challenge them. Fortunately, the rhino's low intelligence makes it highly susceptible to intimidate <laughs> abilities, so that matchup is by no means unwinnable. Elephants, though, they'll walk straight through a group of hippo players, knowing none of them will challenge it. Also, ironically, one of the worst matchups for a hippo is another hippo, since a hippo's tusks do have the potential to pierce their defenses. The last important matchup to discuss for them is how they fare against humans. I mean, humans, we got technology, right? We should, we should, we should, we should be okay, right? No? And in this regard, they've got one of the best records of all. Obviously, they still lose to the highly advanced equipment that humans have recently unlocked, but aside from that, humans don't have any way to... Oh, that's Jumanji. I was about to say, boy, I thought this was a real life. Combat them. As a result, hippos have the highest KD ratio versus humans in the entire game. What the fuck? Yo. Listen. I think we've been focused on Area 51 and aliens coming to Earth. We know the true, the true, okay, enemy is hippos. Ain't no way they should be running no KD. Uh, hold up. Even special high-level mounts, like boats and trucks, can be taken down by a hippo. So where do hippos belong on the tier list? If they can kill humans, literally wash everything except that, well, if elephants be tier, then they will have to be C tier, but they gotta be above that, bruh. Well, considering how they're basically unstoppable tanks that manage to spec into an excellent semi-aquatic playstyle right? without sacrificing any land-based abilities to do so, it's tough to argue that they're anything but S tier. They easily come on now, come on now. S tier hippos, that's that's tough. Easily control any rivers or lakes that they're in, being even more dominant than crocodiles. In fact, while currently the vast majority of the hippo players, I was about to take a trip to Africa. You know what, hippos, y'all got it. That's y'all land. I ain't coming, all right? Their bases in the African server. Good. A few of them have recently broken into the South American meta. Now, hippos have one of the lower spawn rates in the game, so it'll be a while before we can really assess their viability in servers outside of Africa, but I would bet that eventually hippos will be one of the most dominant builds in South America too, especially since they have... No, no, that means they're gonna work their way up through... No, they better stay far away from the southern United States, all right? I'm not dealing with no hippos. If I if if 
if that's a world, if that's a future that, that exists, I don't want to be a part of it. Walk outside, you see a hippo, you can't get in your car and run. Fam going to put his pinky on your car like, where are you going? All right? <laughs> you thought she was going so Get up out that car. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm good on that. Great matchups against the top tiers there, too, like the Cayman and the Jaguar. The Piranha player base might give them a hard time, though, so we'll have to wait and see. Their thick hide offers a lot of protection, but with hundreds of bites chipping it away, even the hippo might struggle. Yeah. Protecting your hit points is critical to survival in the current meta, but perhaps equally important is protecting your passwords. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all protect y'all passwords and all that. But listen! Hip hippos are definitely OP. They might be S plus tier, bruh. They might be S plus tier. I'm, I'm going to have to do the human video because I seen the humans was up there at S tier. I want to I see what that's about. But I know hippos was just dangerous. They run along the, the water floor, jump back up. You should not be that fast. Listen, you got to give up one of the speeds. I, I think I think the foreseer of the animal kingdom, they gave way too much VC to these hippos and they done maxed out water speed and land speed. So that's not something we plan for animals to be able to do. But anyway, listen. We we must protect me from hippos, all right? Because I, I'm terrified now. I ain't going to lie. I'm terrified. But uh, y'all stay away from hippos so y'all can watch some more vids. But to see those vids, make sure you sub to the channel. Hit that like button. And until next time. We out of here.